that's why I'm showering because my hair looks like this. Oh my god, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. That looks even worse, oh my god. Well, hey guys, what's up, welcome to this vlog. If this situation doesn't go to show you what's going on in my life right now, then I don't really know what does. So a couple months back, I made a vlog of my first week of the semester. We are now on the last week of the semester, which means I have finals all week. Which is why I look like this. My hair hasn't been washed in three days. I'm living in oversized t-shirts and I'm drinking liquid IV. I'm tired and it's only the first day. I have my first exam in like an hour or so. So I'm gonna shower before then and then we're gonna take it. It's my business law final. And then tomorrow is financial accounting. And then Thursday is the one I am most scared for, which is college algebra math. I was supposed to work tomorrow, but I am taking the day off because I'm just overwhelmed. I have so much studying to do just for math specifically. I'm not worried about my other two finals, but math, I'm scared for math. And then I have a bunch of orders for Naked Lady I need to fulfill and I need to update the website. So I just have a lot going on. Also, I'm in the midst of the dirty details of wedding planning, which also takes a lot of your mental capacity. There's just a lot going on. I am going to go shower and then I'll be right back. And just like that, I'm out of the shower. So right now I am going to take my business final. How it works in this class is the tests are normally open for three days and you can take it whenever you want to. Proctor it online, but once you start the test, you only have a certain amount of time to finish it and you can't leave once you start it. So you just have to make sure that you have enough time to finish it. I have a test tomorrow, which is May 26th, and I have my final exam on Thursday, May 27th. I'm gonna just go ahead and get this business law exam done, and then I'll be done with that class for the semester so I can go ahead and just focus on my other two finals. I'm really curious to see if I were to watch back my video at the beginning of the semester, what I said about my classes, because I think I said something along the lines of one of the classes was gonna be really easy and like not something I had to focus on, and the other two were gonna be a little bit harder, although math, I always knew math was gonna be hard. Math is not for me. I don't enjoy math. It's not easy for me. So that's definitely been the hardest for me. First class is done. And I'm going to be totally honest. I can't believe I'm even admitting this. But I actually thoroughly enjoyed that class. Now we're going to see if I eat my words three months down the road when it's finals. So I don't know how I feel about my accounting class. It seems more confusing than it does informational. Funny thing is, I thought my business law class would be like the hardest class, but not only is it the shortest class, I have a feeling that's gonna be my scapegoat, like the one class that I don't have to worry about. But I'm so proud of myself because I do have A's in every single one of my classes, which is crazy considering that I work full time, I've been running a business on the side, planning my wedding and uploading videos once a week. So do I sleep? Not really. But I'm very proud of myself and I cannot wait for this week to be over. I'm going to just set you guys up on a time lapse, take this exam so I can be done, and move on. So let's do it. Test 4 is ready. Please know this will be your first and final attempt once you click start. Here I go. <laughs> Fifty percent of the way there. Finished fifty percent of the test. I'm over it. I want to be done. Let's finish. <laughs> I finished my business law class. My business law final. I got a ninety-three percent. So I'm stoked about that. So happy to be done. I'm gonna finish this last assignment that is due for some reason. I don't know why we were allowed to take the exam before that was due, but I'm gonna just take that quickly. And then I'm going to make some food and start studying for my math final. So that's the plan for right now. Good morning, everyone. My hair looks like fucking atrocious. This is not my vlog, honestly, let's be real. Oh my God. I give up, I truly give up. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, it's Wednesday. I have another final today. It's 10.30 and I'm gonna study. That's all I'm doing is studying. I'm so ready for this week to be over. I feel like such a mess. I was supposed to go to work today, but they let me not go to work so that I could focus on my exams, which was very nice of them. Done with business law. Today I have financial accounting and I'll be done with that. And then tomorrow is math. So my brother's gonna help me right now study for math because that's what I'm most worried about. And then we're gonna move 
forward. So that's kind of the only update I have. I feel so overwhelmed, truly. And not because of finals. I just, I have so much going on in my head, like preparing to move back in a couple of weeks, doing all this wedding stuff. I have so many orders for Naked Lady to fulfill. And John's coming in a couple days. So it's like all I can think about. I haven't seen him in five weeks. So I just... I want to shut down. I want to do nothing, but I have so much to do that that's not really an option. So I'm going to drink some water and study right now. And then we're going to take another test. So I don't do well under pressure and exams are pressure. That's all it is. It's just pressure. I'm thriving. Clearly. These next few clips, my brother is helping me over Zoom on math. He is a math genius. So that's what I've been relying on this entire semester. Okay, so remember number a letter a 27 raised to the power of x minus one i remember that like when we did them in class like when you get them to be the same power like, raised to the same power is how you get it down well how do you do that because you have log base of an answer is equal to the exponent is then equal to log base of the exponent is equal to the answer i have x log of 27 minus log of 27 so i can't just get rid of that x because it's attached to the log of 27. So x log of 27 minus, I, I literally have no idea what the fuck I'm doing and I'm gonna like start crying. x and then in parentheses log of 27 minus 2 log of 9 is equal to log of 27. I don't even know how to type in 2 log 9 on my calculator. When I type in 27 log I get 1.43136376464. What, how do I type in 2 log of 9 on my calculator? Negative 0.9084 bullshit, which is negative one third. This is stress eczema. <laughs> this is what happens when I get really overwhelmed. Um, I've only technically cried once today. It wasn't even a full cry. It was definitely just like whimpering tears because I just can't be doing this no more. We did take a 45 minute break. We finished like the worst of it, I'm pretty sure. And we're about to finish the rest of it before I go in for my second final in about two and a half hours. And then I also did go ahead and print the rest of the transfers for Naked Lady. I'm updating the website because my website's been sold out for a while. I've just been doing so many custom orders. Like my website's been up and running. I just haven't had anything listed on there. So I'm updating the website and also trying to work on my custom orders. But Wrigley, my cat is sleeping on top of my stack right now. And I just don't want to disturb him. So we're letting him do his thing. And I'm gonna keep on studying. You guys, two down, one to go. I definitely had a breakdown. <laughs> I didn't vlog before my financial accounting class because I full on lost it. I was on the phone with John crying for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm like out of breath. I just started laundry. I feel a significant weight lifted off my shoulders. After finishing the last one, again, wasn't worried for it. Just wanted to have it done because it was just something else I had to do. Now it's something I don't have to do. Although I am taking accounting 102 in the summer. Oh, a FedEx package. Interesting. For me, y'all, there's a package for me. This is a nice surprise. I prefer the summer classes, even though it is twice the work because the summer classes, how they work, they're either six week or eight weeks. So instead of having a 16 week semester, you have either six or eight weeks to pack an entire semester's course load into those few weeks. So it is a lot more work, but it's like you get done with the class so much sooner. So I think it's so worth it. I'm taking two summer classes. I did the same thing last week. I'm really all over the place. I did the same thing last summer and I like it because it's just two classes I don't have to worry about come the fall. So, what's okay about us? Wrigley scared himself today. You can't see him, but he knocked over something and scared him so bad that he jumped off of where he was hiding and hit the wall really hard. And now he's terrified of everything, which is not how he normally is. <gasps> Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so excited. If this is what I think it is, I'm not gonna show you what it is because it will be in a later video, but y'all, I love good packaging. Good packaging makes a huge difference, truly. Really. <gasps> it is! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, no way. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, shut up. This is amazing. You guys, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a snack some food. I've been super loving the, I'm just going to show you. I don't know what it's called. The Just Egg Vegan Egg Mix. So it is a plant-based scramble. It literally tastes identical to eggs, but it comes from plants. It has 
absolutely no animal byproducts meaning it doesn't come from a chicken but i prefer i'm not vegan like i do eat the occasional meat here and there but i do feel much better when i'm not eating animal products personal preference i feel a lot less guilty when i don't eat animal products and after finding this i oh my god i swear by it i'm in love so i'm gonna make some of this have some yogurt and probably pour a glass of wine <laughs> Well, I feel so much better after being done with that final, seriously. Okay, check in. Tomorrow's the last one. We can do it. Okay, guys, it is 11 o'clock, later than I wanted to be going to bed. But as you can see, I'm still in happy spirits. I finished all my math and I submitted all of my last assignments that were due. I have my final at 8.45 and then I'm done for the semester. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Definitely the most nervous for tomorrow, but I know that it's going to be fine. Also, since the last time I talked to you guys, I somehow managed to snag two tickets on the floor to Billie Eilish April 3rd next year. I am a diehard Billie Eilish fan. She's my favorite artist. Her music really speaks to me. Her story as an artist, her as a person, just everything about her and her music just resonates with me. And I've been tracking her website and her album release date and everything. And I've been knowing that she was gonna be going on tour soon. I just didn't know when they were gonna release it. I got an email from Ticketmaster last week, signed up for the pre-sale, got waitlisted for the pre-sale. So she that I was waitlisted for sold out and I was like oh that sucks like whatever and then I got an email today that there were still tickets available for the Glendale Arizona show April 3rd next year which is exactly after me and John get married. Ooh, I have not announced our wedding date yet but April 3rd next year I got two floor seats and I am stoked. Like I don't, I couldn't be more happy. I don't know even how this happened, but that happened. So I'm so excited. But right now I'm gonna eat some ice cream. I got these Daya vegan coffee. I don't know what they're, I don't, they're like little ice cream bars. They're pretty good. I'm gonna have one of those, watch a movie or something and go to bed. So I will check in in the morning to take my last final and be done for the semester. Good morning. I went to bed so late last night and my final is about to start any minute, but I'm making coffee first. <laughs> Priorities. There are literally no words for how ready I am to get this over with. I'm so tired. I just want to down to school and have the rest of the day to relax. <sighs> okay, that's my update. Wish me luck. That looks good. Oh, I did mark you off. I'm sorry. Amber Rose. <laughs> <laughs> good. Amber Rose, that looks good. Could I just see your angle as well? Awesome. Good. If you use your calculator and your hands are kind of like at the edge, pull your calculator onto your screen. I had somebody yesterday that I had to like get to that point. Like if you, if your hands go off screen again, I'm going to give you a zero. I'm about to start. So <laughs> check back in when I'm done uh, because obviously it's online, especially for math. It's proctored over Zoom. So we have like strict guidelines, but I'm used to this. This is how my last two semesters were as well. So this is nothing new. So close, so close. I also have Wrigley here helping me. I'm about to press submit on my last exam for the semester. Oh, it's loading so slow. Oh. Yay, I did it. Okay, let's let her know. She's checking it over, making sure I'm good to go. Oh yeah, I'm done. You guys, I'm freaking done. That took me two hours and 45 minutes. My neck is killing me, but I'm done. I'm done. And being honest, that was actually the most confident I felt on a math exam this entire semester. That was the fourth one we've taken. My battery's about to die, but I'm so happy. I'll get back to you when I find the charged battery.